Hi, this is Wayne from Interface Visual. And a couple of months ago, one of my iPad Pros died. So when I went to replace it, I went to Costco and lo and behold, they had the MacBook Air base model for $950, which is actually cheaper than the 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I've always wanted Photoshop on my iPad. So I figured this would run Photoshop natively and you know, it would be fast. Up until yesterday, it's been running in Rosetta 2. It's still pretty fast, but not native. But again, as of yesterday, Adobe has put out a native version of Photoshop on an M1 chip. Let me show you. This is um, in Bridge, and what we're gonna do is start it up. Photoshop is not running, so we're just gonna click it and open it five seconds to get it open from dead stop. And this is a multi-layer file. Um, so 47 megs opens it up in five seconds, but it gets better. Since um, a lot of our work that we do, well, well what I do is I work with a lot of layers. And um, so this file is took about 40, 40 layers to do. And um, what I've decided to do is take the layers and kind of show you the layers. See, it kind of light painted, went around the house and put strobes in different areas. And, you know, usual light painting stuff for a dusk. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it all. We're going to put a stopwatch on it and tools, Photoshop layers. So a minute and 12 seconds for 42 layers um, from raw for A7R, no, it wasn't the R3, A7 III, which is 24 megapixels and in a minute and 12 seconds. I think it's pretty good for a laptop. So um, as far as a mobile device, MacBook Air. I'm Wayne from Interface Visual. Go buy one.